Hello and welcome to Life Talk for May 2011. I'm Mark Crutcher and skulking in the shadows are Cherie Johnson, Troy Newman, and Johnny Hunter. Speaking of wise, let's, we got another wise guest coming up here. Um, Mark Harrington has um, uh, been with the uh, Center for Bioethical Reform for years. A lot of people out there in the field know him. Oh, yeah. And uh, he has now left there, and, I, and I, I don't think it was, a, I mean, it was an amicable leaving. I mean, it's not like they were mad at each other or anything. But uh, he started a new organization called Created Equal, and he's joining us from Columbus, Ohio. Hello, Mark. Hi. How are you doing, sir? Doing great, thanks. Thank you for being with us today. Sure. Tell us about uh, Created Equal. Well, created equal, you know, the words, of course, you know, are found in the Declaration of Independence and are restated by Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. on the steps of the Lincoln Memorial in his famous I Have a Dream speech. And um, I think the words created equal summarize the pro life message uh, quite well, and that is that. Uh, abortion, if you distill it down to to its foundation, is simply age-based discrimination. And Dr. King said that uh, men should not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character, and that we shouldn't discriminate based on age, whether they're born or pre-born. So, you know, created equal uh, plays well because the left likes to use the equality issue for everything other than abortion. Right. Uh, and, of course, we believe that uh, we are created in God's image, so it implies a creator. So uh, that's, that's why we, we use the name as, uh, as the, uh, the new organization. Well, let me ask you real quick, and then I want to go into another uh, thing that you, you were involved with, something down at Florida mm -hmm. A&M University. But right. real quickly, how is what you guys are going to be doing different than what you were doing uh, with the Center for Bioethical Reform? Well, it's simply taking the tools, you know, the proven tools, the methods of historical social reform, which in this case CBR pioneered using abortion imagery primarily, and specializing in them. In other words, taking what we've done on university campuses and actually making them work to the degree that they need to be. Yeah, let's make One sure thing, people, people understand what you guys were doing at CBR right. was going on to college campuses, setting up these large displays, uh, making the analogy between... Uh, abortion and slavery and abortion right. and, and the civil rights movement and abortion and other holocaust on college campuses and having people there to engage the students in conversation. That's exactly right. And, of course, uh, CBR has a broader focus. I mean, the, the billboard trucks, airplane tow banners, other things like that. And I just felt like in order to specialize in this area, which is campus outreach, campus training to youth and high school students, I needed to start another organization to do that. Right. And the key is transferability, taking projects like the Genocide Awareness Project and make it so these students can do it long after we leave. It's one thing to have a huge presentation of abortion imagery. That's great. But if you can't transfer this to the right. next generation, then I think we're, we're, we're not getting it done. And that's where I felt I needed to, to branch out on my own and begin with created equal. Have you had much opposition at the campuses? All the time, of course. Oh, I mean, yeah. Troy will <laughs> attest to the fact that once you show an abortion image, it changes the whole discussion. And right. students uh, get upset about that because now they can't uh, rely on their old presuppositions that it's not a baby or abortion is not an act of violence that kills a baby. Now, recently, um, you guys put on a, a program down at uh, Florida A&M University. And, Johnny, am I right? Florida a and is the largest uh, African-American university it, in the country? It, 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 I don't know if it's the largest in the country. It is huge. I, I think Clenard was telling me it was the largest. Uh, yeah, it, it, it is huge. But anyway, uh, Mark, you guys had Clenard Childress, who, of course, is right. one of the people in my Alpha 21 and associated mm -hmm. with Johnny with, with Learn, uh, come down and give a speech, and they, were, they showed my Alpha 21. And from what I can understand, and, and some of the videos that I've seen on YouTube, the response down there was amazing. Yes, it's awesome. It's one of the things that we've been planning to do and was one of my final acts at CBR, and that was to get uh, uh, Learn and Pastor Childress onto the campus there at FAMU in Tallahassee. I mean, it's, it's a, this whole uh, historically black colleges are wide open, Mark, to this message, to the idea of black genocide. And the reception we had there was amazing. Uh, and if you, you know, and so I think there's a, there's a whole uh, group of historically black colleges that we ought to be taking the message of black genocide to. 
Well, we had, we saw, I saw a couple of DVDs that were, or, or videos on YouTube that were shot down there. Um, and one, this, this young black woman was saying, you know, I, I was pro-choice before I saw this movie. And now, mm -hmm. you know, this has turned me completely around. And we saw a, one of the things that was interesting was, uh, uh, I haven't seen it. Carol here in my office was telling me about it. A reporter for a local news station there was fanning herself with a copy of my Alpha 21. <laughs> and uh, we, we just apparently had a, a really good response down there. Clenard came back and said it was, it was really fantastic what went on down there. And that's kind of what we're seeing at black college campuses all over the country. That's great synergy. I mean, with my Alpha 21, and then you follow it up with the Genocide Awareness Project and Black Genocide, and you get uh, Learn on the campus. I think it's, it's a great uh, program, and I'd like to see it go you know, beyond the university there in Tallahassee at FAMU and all the historically black colleges uh, would begin to see this kind of thing being presented on their campus. Yeah, the local reporter's name was Jessica Green, and while they were uh, uh, talking to her, they actually panned to another young girl there on the campus who was wearing a, a T-shirt that said, Stop Funding Racism. Mm. And uh, she, even this reporter apparently was blown away by kind of the imagery that was going on and how impacting it was. So. Uh, that was a really good event down there. You guys really did a good job, apparently. Well, I'm looking forward to doing more of it. Yeah, we, we've got to get this message spread out to more black colleges. And, and you know, that's one thing I really appreciate about you, Mark, is, uh, you know, Dr. Jeff Myers wrote a book called Passing the Baton. And I don't know if you read that, Mark uh, mm -hmm. Harrington, but uh, it, it, what he's doing is exactly what Jeff Myers said, is, is to pass on our knowledge and our strengths uh, and our passion to the next generation. And, and I know Mark is doing that on college campuses. He has a leadership institute as well. And I just can't commend you enough. You're one of the hardest working, brightest, uh, most articulate people in the pro-life movement. We really appreciate you, Mark. Well, I appreciate it. And the check's in the mail, Troy. Write a couple it, it, zeros. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 but you know, Mark, I was talking to Mark Crutcher's daughter, Sheila, uh, one point, and she was explaining to us college students, really, uh, they love justice. Mm -hmm. And that, that's so crucial for them. And I think uh, not only on the black college campus, but across the nation now, uh, the GAP projects were so successful, and, and y'all have done a wonderful job. And to hear you uh, taking this thing to another level and making it more agile, and right. uh, doing a whole created equal, that justice, I think is going to, uh, I think the young folks not only want to grab, but I think they're going to run with it. Well, and, we uh, want to reach more campuses faster. We want to reach more students yeah. quicker. That's the idea. It's got to be agile. It's got to be quick. It's got to right. be flexible. We've got to transfer these projects onto the next generation or else it's just me and a bunch of us going around the campus. We just can't get in, enough front, uh, in, in front of enough students quick enough on our own. No, we've got to do viral marketing. That's the no thing doubt. the pro-life movement's got to get better at. But. Amen. Well, thanks for joining us, sir. I appreciate it. Thank, Thank you. you. We appreciate you coming on. Sure. Bye-bye. Bye. Oh, that's cool. It ought to go to all the campuses.